What's up guys, Swift here checking in with the Bears afternoon update after they wrapped up preseason action yesterday against the Bills. Today I want to talk about Travis Gibson, who's looked great throughout the preseason but requested a trade in the middle of the game yesterday. What is going on there? Let's get right into it. So the news broke that he wanted a trade in the first quarter of yesterday's game. Roughly an hour after the news broke, Trevis made another splash play, sacking and forcing a fumble on Bills quarterback Kyle Allen. Eberflus confirmed it after the game, but said he didn't know any details, and Trevis is a great guy and a hard worker. To me, it sounded like his time in Chicago is coming to an end. Let me play that brief sound clip, and you tell me what you take from this. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to really comment on that because I don't know much about that. I know that just came out. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I can just say this. Travis is an outstanding young man, and he works his tail off. And uh, he's he's been that great since we've been here. And that's where, you know, he had some good plays out there today, too. Travis was listed at the bottom of the depth chart just over a week ago, but he's responded by looking unblockable at times throughout the preseason. It's puzzling how Gibson has remained behind Rasheem Green, though. The coaching staff seems to prefer Rasheem's gap integrity and run defense to Travis's. If I had to nitpick about his game, he is a better pass rusher than run defender. Some people also think Travis is more of a natural fit in a 3-4 defense. Something overlooked here though is what was our team's biggest weakness this offseason defensive end is now a position where we are going to be cutting one or two players. Unique Ngakwe, Demarcus Walker, and Dominique Robinson are roster locks. It leaves multiple players fighting for the last two spots. My guess is that those two spots go to Terrell Lewis and Rasheem Green. That leaves DeAnthony Jones, Jalen Harris, and Travis Gibson off the roster. Personally, I'd take DeAnthony Jones or Travis over Rasheem Green, but the coaches have seen something in Green's game that I haven't. I feel like Rasheem is going to make the roster. So does that mean Travis is most likely gone? At this point, I think so. Does he have any trade value, though? Uh, it's debatable. He has flashed a lot this preseason, and he had 30 pressures last year while being top 5 in double team rate. That seems to suggest that Travis could have some value, but with roster cuts just two days away, what are the odds that the Bears can get any value for Travis? Slim to none, in my opinion. In a perfect situation, the most you would get for Travis is a fifth-round pick. With every team in the league cutting their rosters from 90 to 53 players in the next 48 hours, I would be hard-pressed to envision anyone offering us much of anything for Travis right now. This one is going to be tough, but I've been a huge fan of Terrell Lewis since we brought him in last year, and I want to see him make this roster as much as almost anyone on the team. It sucks that by doing that, he might take Travis Gibson's spot, especially since T. Lewis and Travis are friends and have known each other since before the Combine. I still hope that there's a way that Travis and T. Lewis both make the roster. I think the only way that happens is if the team decides to move on from Rasheem Green. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this situation. Roster cuts are coming. I'll have my 53-man roster projection out later today. And I've been watching the film closely. Stay tuned. I have a bunch more content on the way. And until next time, bear down.